Okay. I posted my part one the other day. And I don't know, I got out of control and just started working on this thing. And uh got got it almost back together. But uh just wanted to show it to you. Uh, see that little gear up in there? Yeah, I take the tumbler and the washer that goes to the tumbler. I take that out. I call it a washer, not really a washer at all. But I take that out so I can get all this timed. What am I talking about? Get it all timed. This washer and this gear. See, get that time to the uh, ignition switch that's connected to this rod right here. See it down in there? So, uh, I'm kind of at a pause right now. This is tricky to put together right here, I'm telling you. It's uh, a lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff you can't even see it now but uh got just a bit of slack in there oh it's because i haven't bolted it down there the screws are not in there but uh just kind of wanted to talk to you a minute about it i guess next i'll go ahead and finish putting the screws in four of them and down in there, it's already in there. And uh, finish it up. But honestly, it wouldn't have done me much good to video putting this thing back together because I had to refer to the disassembly video in order to be able to put it back together. It's just so much tricky stuff going on. I know, I know that sounds kind of crazy, but but it is. There's a lot of tricky stuff going on in here. The uh, this piece right here goes on first. It's kind of got a bell shape to it, like this. Yeah, a bevel on it, and then this bolts onto that. All this stuff was busted had cracks in it so that's why it got the replacement this came out of a Torino well actually an Elite a Ford Elite 78 model I think and uh, this part right here this little uh, deal and yeah, here's a picture of it it's got a broken tooth but it's way up on the top end of the tilt so I'm gonna have to make do for now I don't know what to tell you I wish I would have been able to film it these clips are kind of tricky one goes in one way and the other goes in the other as you can see And uh, that that will trick you. That's something I had to refer to. Like I say, you if you take this part out right here, you'll be able to time your ignition switch correctly. But there's just so much stuff in here. There's uh there is just, just so much stuff. Uh, I don't know what to tell you kind of feel embarrassed that I didn't uh, didn't wait but not too bad not really uh, I appreciate you guys watching my video I'll uh, let this be this for now and I'll uh, I'll put the disassembly video along with this one and uh, any others that are related to this steering column in the uh, the the uh, playlist for the e150 so you can refer to it if you need it 
I don't know if you will or not. I'm sure there's much more intelligent people than me putting this stuff together. All right. Have a good night. Appreciate you watching.